Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about solar cell. Solar cell is basically a p-n junction which converts the light energy from the sun directly into electricity. It works on the principle of photovoltaic effect. That is, when a p-n junction in a semiconductor is exposed to light radiation, it generates voltage across it. This effect is called photovoltaic effect. These solar cells can be connected either in series or parallel to increase the voltage and current. When we connect the solar cells in series, the current through the circuit will be same, so voltage gets added up. When we connect the solar cells in parallel, voltage remains same, so current gets added up. The solar cells can be interconnected to form model. The models can again be interconnected to form panel. The interconnection of panels is called PV array. This increases current and voltage in the circuit. Solar cell produces only DC voltage. If we want AC voltage for any application, we can convert this DC voltage by using an inverter into AC voltage. Next we are going to see about the IV characteristics of solar cell that is voltage current characteristics. This gives the information about how to configure a solar system so that we can operate it close to its maximum power point. The current is controlled by the intensity of solar radiation and voltage is controlled by the temperature. As the temperature increases, the voltage decreases. That is, voltage is inversely proportional to temperature and current is directly proportional to intensity of solar radiation. So, the dot, this is the IV characteristics. Here, the dot represents the maximum power point. The current corresponding to the maximum power point is the peak current and the voltage corresponding to the maximum power point is the peak voltage VMP. The standard temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and standard irradiance is 1000 watt per meter square. Next is the voltage power characteristics. In this characteristics, the maximum power point shifts when the temperature increases. Next, we will see about fill factor. Fill factor gives the relation between maximum power that a cell or array provide under normal operating condition and the product of open circuited voltage and short circuited current. It, it gives the idea of quality of cell or array. If the fill factor is close to 1, then the cell can provide more power. The formula to find fill factor is, fill factor is equal to P max by Pt. That is the maximum power the cell or array provides divided by the product of short circuit current into open circuit voltage. The maximum power that the cell provides is given by the product of current at maximum power point and voltage at maximum power point. Typical values of a fill factor are 0.7 and 0.8. Next is the efficiency. Efficiency of a solar cell is given by maximum power that a cell or array can provide divided by input solar power into 100. It is expressed as percentage. The, ma the maximum power the cell can provide is given by the product of fill factor, short circuit current and open circuited voltage. Next is comparison of efficiency of different types of solar cells. If you see the monocrystalline which is made of single crystal, it has efficiency of 20%. 
Its lifespan is 25 years and it is highly efficient and durable but it is expensive. Then if you see polycrystalline it is made from different crystal silicon. Its efficiency is 16 percent, lifespan is 25 years, it is less expensive and less efficient. Then if you see thin film that is amorphous, its efficiency is 10 percent, lifespan is 15 to 20 years and advantage of this is less expensive and easily it can be produced and disadvantage is less efficient that is and shorter lifespan. Next we will see about the continuity equation. In a p-n junction solar cell under low injection condition the one dimensional continuity equation for electrons and holes are given by gn minus rn plus 1 by q into djn by dx equal to 0. For holes it is given as gp minus rp minus 1 by q djp by dx is equal to 0. Here gn and gp are the generation rate of electrons and holes. jn and jp are the current densities of electrons and holes. The recombination rate of electrons is given by Np minus Na divided by tau n and the recombination rate of holes is given by Pn minus Pn0 divided by tau p. Here Np and Np0 represents the excess uh, concentration of electrons in p type semiconductor and um, Pn and Pn0 represents the excess concentration of holes in N type semiconductor. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.